everybody, it's Jennifer with The Family Fudge. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Now, if you don't already know, we are a family of six and we love to travel and we do it as often as we can. Now, on this channel, I've shared how I pack and organize for road trips, for trips to Disney, for cross-country trips. I've shared lots of ideas on road trip snacks and food items. And I've also shared lots of tips when it comes to traveling with kids. Today's, I'm gonna to share with you how I've packed for my family of six for seven days with carry-on luggage only, which is definitely a challenge. I'm gonna take you through my entire process of how I get started, how I figure out what I'm going to bring, and how I pack it all. The first thing I do whenever we're going on a trip is figure out exactly how many days we're going to be gone. So on this particular trip, I am super excited to be taking the whole family back to Utah so that we can attend the CVX Live YouTube convention. This is one that's definitely family friendly and this is actually going to be our third year attending. So for this particular trip, I knew we were going to be gone for one week exactly. I planned on bringing four outfits per person. Now I decided on that number one because I knew we'd have access to a washer and dryer so we could do laundry along the way and with just four outfits per person I knew it wouldn't be too much stuff to fit in carry-on only luggage. Next thing I always do is check the weather forecast for where we're going so that definitely is going to influence what kind of clothes I pack. My next step is to gather up all the clothes I have in mind for the trip and I'll go ahead and just make a pile with anything I think might be good. That doesn't mean I'm absolutely going to pack everything, I'm just pulling out all the possibilities. Which also brings me to my next step, which means laundry. Quite often there are items that I have in mind that are in the hamper, so that means running a few loads of laundry before I can go on to the next step. Now you guys, I would really love to share on my updated laundry routine with you, so stay tuned. I'm going to be making that video just as soon as we get back home. Now on to my next step. All of my kids' clothes are now clean and dry. It's time to start sorting them. And that means getting out the baskets. So I have several of these dollar store baskets that definitely make laundry day a lot easier. So as you can see, I've set out five baskets here on my couch. The first basket is for day one clothes, which are the traveling clothes. In this basket goes clothes for day number two. Of course, in this one is day number three. This one is gonna be day number four. And then in this fifth basket is where I put all the kids' socks, underwear, and jammies. And I'll probably go ahead and put some jackets in there too because it looks like we might need them in Utah. Now, of course, the idea is that after the four days, I'll go ahead and wash everything. Then they can wear all the outfits again for the remainder of our trip. Okay, so now you can see I have all the clothes laid out, but that brings me to my next step. I have the kids actually try on each outfit. I do this number one so that I can be sure that all the clothes are still going to fit them. And also, it gives the kids a chance to have some input. So if they absolutely don't like what I pick for them, we can trade it for something else. Are you excited to go on the airplane tomorrow? So after the kids tried on outfit number four, all that was left was the jammies, which was actually perfect timing because they needed to go to bed so that I could finish packing everything else. And that brings me to confession time because I know this looks pretty well planned out, but to tell you the truth, when it comes to packing, I'm kind of a procrastinator. In fact, I was still packing these things at about midnight that night and we were supposed to leave for the airport at three, so I didn't end up sleeping at all. I figured I would just sleep on the plane, which I definitely don't recommend. I really like to use packing cubes to organize things within the suitcase. That way, once we get to where we're going, it's much easier to unpack. So in this large purple packing cube, I have all the outfits for the girls. And in the large blue packing cube, I have all of the outfits for the boys. Next, I added in a medium-sized packing cube. In here, I have all of the girls' underwear, socks, and jammies. And then pretty much the same thing for the boys. We have socks and undies and jammies in here. But then I also have diapers for my toddler. And then lastly, for the girls' suitcase, I still have quite a bit of room in here. 
So I'm adding a smaller packing cube with all of the girls' hair accessories. Things like headbands and bows, rubber bands, all those types of things are in this little pouch. Now these suitcases still have quite a bit of room, and usually I would stick in an extra pair of shoes, but we decided for this trip we would just take one pair per person. So now that I've showed you the kids suitcases, I'll go ahead and show you mine. Now I actually got this hard-sided suitcase at Walmart, and it's a really pretty rose gold color on the outside. And just like with the kids suitcases, I like to use different bags and pouches to organize things within my suitcase. In this medium-sized packing cube, I have all of my undies, my jammies, and extra diapers for my toddler. In this smaller bag with the eyelashes on it, I have all of my contacts and my contact solution. In this cute little pouch with the lemons on the outside, I have some feminine products. And in this pink pouch, I have my Fitbit charger and a few pieces of jewelry. Now right on the bottom here in this large packing cube, I have all of my outfits. And just like the kids, I only packed four different outfits. Now on this other side of the suitcase, I have my traveling makeup case. Now this is actually a really nice one I found on Amazon. It has lots of different compartments for all of my favorite makeup products. But actually, it's not just makeup in here. I also have some different face products as well. And then I also like to carry one extra set of my favorite press-on nails, just in case I lose any along the way. Underneath the nails, I keep all of my lip products, especially chapstick. I always need chapstick when I come to Utah. It's pretty dry here compared to Florida. Then in this next section, I have all of my travel size products that I love, like my moisturizer, my eye drops, some cleanser. Then over on this side, I have my favorite travel primer, some concealer, pressed powder, eyeshadow, and blush. In this back section I have some makeup setting spray, two different kinds of foundation that I like to mix together. I have a mascara, an eyeliner, and my absolute favorite nail polish of all time. I just love the bright, fun color. And I love that it's quick drying too. And tucked in this back pocket I have my makeup removing wipes. My favorite is the grapefruit kind. Now next to my makeup case is where I like to put my flat iron, is where I like to put my straightening iron, and I'll also throw in my curling iron too. Then I also have a couple other bags of necessities. In this one I have my hairspray, my dry shampoo, some shaving cream and lotion, and my deodorant. So in here I have detergent, shampoo, gel, I have toothpaste for the travel toothbrushes, and some stain remover. Now in this back section I have one more travel bag, and this one I like to call my mini walking pharmacy. And basically that just means I have all of my first aid and medicine items in here. This is actually where I keep all of my vitamins and my supplements. I found this on Amazon and I just love the fun colors. Right now all I have in here is a multivitamin, some extra vitamin B, and I have one that's supposed to help with my skin, hair, and nails. So now I showed you the suitcases, it's time to move on to the backpacks. This time we're flying with Southwest, so that means each person gets two bags. So the suitcases have pretty much just the clothes, the backpacks have snacks, activities, and things like that. So in the first section of my backpack, I have my snacks. Some pistachios with no shells, I definitely don't want a bunch of shells on the plane. And then I also have some of these protein cake bites, and this is in the chocolate donut flavor, it's really good. In this next section, I have some hand sanitizer, definitely a necessity on a plane. Now this next section, I kind of use as my diaper bag. This is where I keep the tissues, the antibacterial wipes, I have regular wipes, I have a couple of disposable placemats, those definitely come in handy when feeding a toddler on a plane. And I also have a few diapers in there and a couple of pens. Now this next section has several different compartments. This back one is where I like to keep my headphones. I just downloaded the new season of Stranger Things off of Netflix and I'm really hoping to watch them on the plane. Then in this big section I also have a new notebook. Now like I said we are going to this YouTube convention. There's going to be a lot of speakers and I'm probably going to want to take some notes so that's what this is for. I just got this at Target and I think it looks really pretty. It was only a couple of dollars. Now also when I'm on the plane, I really love to look at magazines, especially magazines that have recipes. So I just picked up this one that's 
full of fall specific recipes. I'm actually really excited to be sharing some fall recipes with you guys, so stay tuned for those videos. And then lastly, I'm also bringing along my planner, just in case. Then in this very last section of my backpack is where I like to put my laptop, my mouse, and all of my cords, basically everything I need to hopefully be able to edit videos while we're traveling. Now that is everything in my backpack, it's time to show you what I'm putting in the kids' backpacks. Now like I said, we do have four kids, but my youngest really doesn't want to carry his own backpack. He's a little bit young. So for this trip, I decided just to bring three backpacks. And the plan is to put all of my toddler's activities and snacks in my husband's backpack and he can go ahead and just carry that. It's kind of a long flight, the kids are definitely going to need these, but if you want to see exactly what I'm packing in their lunch and for their snack, go ahead and watch Saturday's video. That's where I share all of the lunches for the week. Now to go along with their lunch boxes and their snacks, I'm also throwing in their water bottles. Of course, these are going to have to be empty when we're going through security. And then it wouldn't be a carry-on bag without activities, right? I love to pack really fun activities for the kids. But I try to remember to get things that aren't going to be messy, that aren't going to break easily or melt. Usually I pick up items from the Dollar Tree or the Target dollar spot, but this time I actually went to a new store called Five Below, and I was able to find lots of different sticker activities, coloring books, mess-free marker packs, lots of things like that. And as a rule of thumb, I like to have one activity per hour of our trip. So this is gonna be about a five hour flight. So I have five different little activities for each child. Those will definitely keep them busy, but they will also have access to movies to watch. Of course, they're also gonna be eating their lunch and their snacks, so that should keep them happy and hopefully they won't be bored on the plane. Now the last thing I'm adding into the kids' backpacks are their headphones. I picked these ones up at the dollar spot of Target and honestly, they're not the best quality, but they will definitely do the job for this trip. And they are only $5, which is really nice. Now I am still going to add in my toddler's car seat. I also am gonna be bringing some booster seats. I'm bringing an umbrella stroller and I have several different covers for those so that they don't get all dirty when they put them on the plane. Okay guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.